Hey everyone, Stacy from Dies to Die For. Welcome to Tuesday night's calendar video. Tonight we're going to be doing the May calendar page. I want to show you a few die cut layering things first though because I always rush through the layering of the die cuts and really don't, I don't think I give you enough of a, an overview and I've had a lot of questions about certain things so I'm going to show you how I layer everything in tonight's card because I already have them done. This is our chicken wire background plate. I cut one out for, let me show you, one out in the silver. I just cut it in a light gray just to give you an idea. And then one in the white tonight. Then I take the white one and I just snip off all the way around. And I've already done most of this. And then don't throw this piece away because this is a great backer piece for other things. I'll show you that in a little while. Then you're just going to glue that and nope, layer it the right way. Layer it on top. As simple as that. If I um, ink like I did ink tonight on those, let me see. I will ink before I glue it down so I can get the insides. But for tonight's card, all I did for inking was... I took my ink pad and I just brushed it across. I wanted to kind of give it that like peeling paint maybe kind of look. I don't know what look I was going for, but I like it. I try to get it dark on the inside and the outside and just lighter on the inside. No, <laughs> in the middle, lighter in the middle. Kind of just like that. And if you don't think you have enough ink on there, you can go through it again. And actually, while I have that out, I'm going to show you how I did the center grid in the calendar, or the center numbers. I just took my number and I did the same thing. I just brushed the ink across it. But I went a few different directions to give it a little variation. Just like that, as simple as that. And if you don't think your numbers are showing up well enough, you can make it a little darker just on top of the numbers. Okay, now we can set this aside. And let's show you the flowers that I'm going to layer. This is the daffodil. The daffodil either, if I'm inking on it, then you can ink the stem and then use a, I like two-tone daffodils too. Oh, that's, I always make two-tone. And then you can use a little skinny, like this is an eyeliner brush and get that really good. Or you could just ink the stem and ink a second one with the yellow part. And if you're doing it this way, I would cut the stem, the whole flower out in the color that you want this piece to be. I guess you don't necessarily have to because you could cut this flower apart, for, apart first and ink those in two different colors. A little glue on there. There. You can also use a small pop dot behind that piece. Here. Can I get it up? going to try to peel it up and see if I could grab a small pop dot and show you how that will look. Got to dig for my pop dots quick. All right, there's no dots left on this one, so I'm just going to cut a small piece off. Because like I've told you before, even when my dots are gone, I still use the rest of the foam. Because we don't want to waste anything. And I still cut that a little bit large, so I'm just going to snip it off. There you go. And that would give it a little bit of a layered flower look. Can you see that? Looks pretty cool. Maybe next week I'll do a card with all the flowers layered. Or lifted, whatever I'm trying to say. Okay, watering can. For this one, I use the watering or the seed planting die set. Watering can, I know I already showed you once how I do this, but I just 
Oh, I'm snipping the wrong one off. I snipped the pink. Actually, we're going to do it the watering can opposite this time. Since I already started snipping it off, and I'm only doing this to show you, you can layer your watering can however you like. I'm just trying to show you quick how I did it. No, I don't, didn't need glue on it. Goodness gracious, what am I thinking? And then, I like the handle to be up over the watering can a little, so I round that over. And then, I put flowers in the watering can tonight, so I did take my scissors and snip right into that little opening. That way I could slide my flowers. Where's the daffodil we just made? That way I could slide my flowers behind it easily. And once I got my flowers in place, then I just took this part and lifted it up. That's about how I layer the watering can. I usually cut this little strip off and put that on there too, but now we've done the watering can. And then the tulips, I did not bring one over here to show you, but the tulips, I do it two ways. Tonight, I cut one out in green and then one out in purple. And then I snipped, let's see, I snipped the purple heads off and I layered them on top of the green. Sometimes I will snip the green off and just put the whole purple flower right behind it. That makes sense. Anyway, that's how I layer some of the dyes so that you know. Let's get started on the calendar pages. I have already taken my calendar grid, inked everything, laid it down. The only thing that I want to add is somewhere I have a little basket. Here it is. Because the 9th is Mother's Day, so I want I put some of the little daffodils. These came... Let's see, the little daffodils came off of the May, got a piece in there, off of the May set right there, and the basket came off of the April set. So I'm just going to put our little basket of daffodils right on Mother's Day. I don't really think this bottom needs too many embellishments because I think it's pretty good. And then while we're doing that, I did finally put April calendar page in our little book that we've been working on. Let me refresh your memory real quick. I'm going to glue this down quick before we move on. So when I get done, I don't look for the May calendar pages to put in the book until the next, the next video. I'm really good at losing stuff, so it's better just to put it down right away. And if you see there, because there's 31 days in May, and the first started on Saturday, so you have two extra days here. I just cut the 23rd and 30th in half and put them on there, 24th, 31st. This one I cut a little big, but this one I was trying to leave a little blue line so it separated the two days. There's our grid page. Let's work on our calendar page, or our top page. Oh, I didn't show you how to layer those. Just a minute, and I'll show you those. Okay, I've already, like I showed you, I cut this out in silver and then white and then inked it. Then I inked around my blue background with a blue. And then also, this is the oh, triple berry from Simon Hurley. I put a little bit of triple berry on there. Not on purpose. I accidentally dropped my ink pad and got it there, so I had to finish all the way around. Okay, then I took our watering can, and I put the flowers inside of it. And I left these empty because I'm going to fill those in with some glittery, the centers with some glittery Nouveau drops. Sometimes I'll just take a white piece of white paper and put it behind it. Not tonight, though. I'm going to make it glittery. 
put our watering can down. And most of these pieces I already have fully assembled. And these, all of these flowers, I cut out in this shimmery um, champagne kind of color. And then I inked all of them. The watering can was also all inked. So everything on here is inked. Cut out of one color and inked. Kind of like these are. Okay, I cut out because in April, let me see. Yes, in April, I put April showers. So for May, I wanted to do May flowers. So I have my May and my flowers with the shadow cut out. Then I have my 2021 cut out. And I had inked the May and purple and put it there, but I really, I don't really like it in the purple. So <sighs> should we try it in yellow? I think yellow would make it stand out. I don't want to do it in blue because we have the blue background. Oh yeah, I think that stands out nice in yellow. Okay, now I think we're going to do the flowers in yellow also. But then, what color should I do? The background matte on that. Maybe try that one in purple. Or should we leave it that light color? Maybe leave it the light color because we have the light over here and there. And then I think I'm going to do the 2021 in purple. So let's get my um, Simon Hurley crown me. This calendar page I used a lot, a lot of Simon Hurley inks. Let's see, we use Crown Me, Slippery When Wet. I use Prom Queen on the watering can. For the stems for the flowers, I used Fake Paint and Later Gator. Triple Berry for the background. Is that all? I think I got them all. Clear Skies for the blue around that, if I didn't say it. Okay, let's get gluing these down. Just got really quiet in here. Wonder why. Speaking of quiet, how has my sound been lady lately? I know on my first few videos there were some issues with the sound. But I was hoping now that I've been shooting the videos at home, that's a smaller space. At, at our warehouse it's a big open space and it echoes anyway. So shooting a video there is kind of hard. I was hoping being at home a, a little bit smaller of a space would stop the echo and allow you guys to hear me more. Plus, we don't have to have that heater running right behind me here. May right there. Let's mount our flowers right on the... That may straight. Okay, so we have the flowers in 2021 left. Let's move that out of the way. And this one you can move over a little bit because it doesn't matter if it goes over the, the frame part. There is our top top to our calendar page. Let's put it on right now. And I'll show you the slimline desktop calendar really quick. 
for those of you who haven't watched the April calendar page, I did a, um, let me show you real quick, a slimline desktop April calendar. I'm going to do that for May also, just because they were so much fun. Once I start something, now I'm going to have to finish doing it. I'm going to have to go back and do January, February, and March in the desktop calendar. Okay, and then these I left a little loose so you can pop them up. We even have, let's see, I should have cut out some of our little butterflies and put them on there. Maybe I'll do that later. Oh, I am missing a piece. I forgot I cut out some of the shovel in the rake to be able to put on there. I can still put it on once I put my page in there though. Which way should we go with this? Let's go. Kind of like that, lay them on top of each other. Oh, was I working off of the camera? There we go. There is our April page. Let's get our books getting a little thick. Okay, let's do our May. Was it April? No. We're doing May. That was not an April page. That was a May page. Goodness, this brain of mine, people. Okay, I've already done all of this. The card base that I cut was eight and a half by eight and a half, and then I just fold it in half. So you have four and a quarter this way. That's what size fits the calendar grid die. Then I already put the 30th down. I have to still put the 23rd because I want to show you guys how I did it. I just snipped it off. And then don't forget to just add a little bit of ink to the edges so it's just as dark as everything else. And hopefully I didn't snip it off too small this time. A little bit, but we're good. I'll make it fit in there. Okay. There we go. And you could also put a line in between them to make them stand out a little more. And you could go around all of the numbers. They pro I don't think on camera they stand out as well as they... Let me see. Yeah, that you really can't see those on the camera, but in real life you can see those. They're highlighted well. Okay, then I took some of the triple berry on a brush and I just rubbed it on this blue background. I cut a blue piece in four and a half or four and a quarter by eight and a half, mounted it, put the grid on there. Now here is where that piece that you cut off earlier that I told you to save. This was my white piece. I just put some metallic ink on it and then I'm going to, I snipped it down a little bit smaller Then I'm going to put that right there. Just to add a little bit of interest behind that watering can, something to mount it on. And the watering can is going to be holding down the bottom part. So you don't have to put a lot of glue on that. Just put a few places to kind of tack it down it's not the funnest thing in the world to put glue on all these little pieces okay I think that's good that glue will dry and most of it will be covered anyway okay now my watering can I have all done I did it the same way as I did the other card, except I put a little flower. Where is it? This flower is off of the May word guy. I put that in the center, and then I put the 2021 year at the bottom, the small one. Put a little glue on that. Not too much because you want it you I I like movement I still want a little movement from my dies I'm 
There's that. And then I cut the May word out in white. And I'm just going to leave it white because I think white will stand out and bring in the, the watering can colors. Tuck that May word kind of down behind those flowers a little bit. Okay, now you have your May 2021 desktop calendar. I did another little basket with the little daffodils. Put it right on the Mother's Day on the 9th. There's your desktop calendar. And I don't think I would staple these together like I did the regular calendar. I think if I were giving it to somebody or for myself, I would just kind of let them stack on top of each other. That way they can always pull the bottom one out and put place it on top. Like that. Does that make sense? All right, now let me see my time. We are at 21 minutes, so I can show you really quick, because a lot of people have a question on how I do the very top, the little blue buds on this one. All I do is I trim on the flower petal part, okay, that, I trim those off. And then I cut the green, the tops of the green ones, if they'll hold still. Back in the frame again. Got to remind myself all the time because I'm used to like working right here and right there on this. Just you guys wouldn't see it. Okay, I cut all of those off. And then I'll put a little bit of glue on the back. And this is the best way that I've found to make those little buds blue. I mean, you could leave them green if you wanted. I just like adding a little bit of color at the top. that and then to do the flowers I cut this set off the set of three right here and then I glue it on there and then I cut that stem off there there and there and then I would glue that on there and then for our watering can I actually snip this larger flower off and put it show you put it in two places in the watering can now really quick this is another panel that I made for an a2 size card the same way that I did the calendar page but then I cut out a white torn edge rectangle and if you do are if you're one that does cards ahead of time so that you have them done. I would just leave it like this. And then when you're ready, take your sentiment, like I'm gonna probably do bonus mom on this one for Mother's Day. But you could also cut out like a happy birthday and put it on there. You could put May flowers on there, whatever you wanna, or sorry, whatever you wanted on there. If you had everything ready and just had to cut out the words, it would be faster. If I did that, maybe people would actually get cards from me on time. I want to show you though, we have the mom words and I showed you those last time. But what I didn't show you is we have the add on words that say second, like you could do second, let me see, second mom. There is also the word step. 
In our house, we don't really use the word step because I don't like that word. So we'll use bonus mom or second mom, bonus daughter, bonus child. But this also has um, second step, great. So you could do great grandma or grandpa because we also have the grandma and grandpa words. The bonus, the and, and then the ampersand. But there you go. There it is made into a Mother's Day card. Let me see my time. And real quick, I told you I was going to put some glittery Nouveau drops on the center of those. Let me show you that real quick. And then we're going to be out of time. There you go. There's your sparkly centers. Get all of them here for you. I didn't glue those down yet, but I don't want to hit those Nuvo drops either. There you go. Thank you for watching. We'll see you again on Thursday night. Have a great night. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our page.